Okay, I'm gonna show you how to silence your beeping wheel. So, normally it's like, beep, beep, and everyone's like, shut the f up! Especially at night time, which is when I like to ride this. So, anyways, first what you gotta do is take out the screws. I already took out all of them except this one. Um, last time my brother had some trouble putting it back, so the trick is... You want to put this, there's like a little lip on the top. You want to put that in, in the top first at an angle. And then um, kind of bend this the, this part outwards. And then shove the bottom in. And then while you're holding the plastic in place, put in the screws. So anyways, um, how to silence the beeping wheel. So some of them will have a speaker. This one's pretty good because you can open it and you can still turn it on when it's there. So you can tell where the sound's coming from. Um, some will have like a actual like little speaker that's hanging out on some wires that you can take out or you can cut it. But uh, I don't like to do any permanent modifications to my things. So here's how you do it. The speaker on here is this thing. Um, basically what I found before I thought just cover the hole so it wouldn't make noise but that didn't really quiet it down too well so what I found was uh, if I were to do that if I stuck a toothpick on there and then I push the button it's much much quieter and if you push it lightly you can kind of change the volume so I found if you want to make it really silent uh, since a toothpick won't stay there, best way, um, I just use a little bit of this electrical tape just so it wouldn't cause any problems if there's some electrical issues. So let me get a piece. It only takes about this much, not very much. Uh, just roll it up sticky side inside. Um, I found if you wrap it around a toothpick or something, uh, that helps. So I just wrap it like that, fold it over so it sticks on itself, twist it around to a ball, and once you get that, you just pull it off the toothpick, and you get this roll. Um, and then just twist it up so that you can fit it into the little hole. Um, and then you just shove it in there. Um, at first it won't really do much until you actually hit the little speaker inside that hole. So let me put this down. Um, sometimes it helps to actually poke it in with a with a toothpick or a needle or something. Um, cause it's kind of hard to do it if you don't roll it small enough like I did. So I'll do that. Let's see. Let's see. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand. But, um, yeah. Maybe I should make another roll. This one's not tight enough. Uh -oh. okay. In there. Oh. Actually, sometimes for this it helps to break the pointy end off of the toothpick so it's not sharp. And then you can just shove that whole thing in there. That and just poke that dumb thing in there. Shove it in. Oh, it's not going. Man. Okay, I'm gonna just make another one. So you get the idea. But um Yep, sorry. I'm gonna do this again. This time I'll, I won't use the toothpick so I can roll it smaller, I guess. 
Or you can just use less tape. So, made it smaller this time. Now, you should be able to twist it and shove it in that hole. There we go. And then, yep, so now that it's in there, actually the sharp end helps. Then you just poke it in. Let's see if I can do this with the camera. And shove it in that hole. So right now it's probably still a little loud. So you just keep shoving. Shove that stuff in there. Don't worry, it's not going to do any harm. Just keep shoving, just keep shoving, and I know, you don't really need to watch all of this, you get the idea, but yeah, just keep shoving it in there, and you can test it. Now it's a lot quieter, and if you want it completely silent, just keep shoving it all the way in. Well, not completely, you want to be able to pull it out, uh, or... Maybe not, but it's always good to have that option. So, I just keep shoving it in until there's like a tiny bit sticking out. And then, should be good to go. So. That should probably be a good amount. It's still beeping a little bit. Uh, it's nowhere near as bad as before. But yeah, so pretty much that's all you gotta do. Shove something in there. You can shove something else if you want. You don't need to use this tape, but yeah, I figured since this doesn't cause any harm to electronics, since it's made to insulate stuff, this was probably the best option I had. Okay, enjoy.